Okay, we're here. We're a little bit south of Hollywood on Wilton Place and Santa Monica Boulevard. And I wanted to get this, document this, this great mural done by a local Chicano artist named Hector Ponce in 2001. And there you go, the Terminator, the 1968 Elvis comeback, and of course, Norma, Norma Jean, who otherwise was known as Marilyn Monroe. And I think that's from uh, Bus Stop, for what that's worth. Great mural, fantastic. And in the words of the Terminator in 1984, give me your clothes, asshole. That classic line, telling that big ass biker, he said that he needed his black leathers. <laughs> okay, well, long live the Beatles. And may John, George, be in a better place. Norma, Gene, and Elvis, thank you all for the great films that you gave us and the music and what you've given to popular culture, American popular culture. Okay, let me pan around here and there's the Griffith Observatory right there. And believe it or not, this is a Sunday. The traffic is already intolerable. So at least it's, uh, this is as good as I'm gonna get without having to come, without coming on a, on a weekday because it's 30 times worse than this. Okay, and that's that hotel there. It was built in 1927. They're, they're known as the Harvey Apartments. And that's where uh, this guy who shot the publicist, Ronnie Chasen, and uh, he was uh, living in these apartments and when the cops, the Beverly Hills cops were, catch were finally uh, gonna talk to him, he shot himself in the head, I guess in the lobby. The detectives were gonna question him about what he knew about the shooting of Ronnie Chasen. And his name was uh, Harold Smith. And uh, Ronnie, Ronnie Chasen, she was a uh, publicist for the movie Burlesque. And uh, so they don't know why he shot her point black, blank about four or five times on the, on the streets in, in uh, Beverly Hills. And uh, to this day, it's unknown what happened, why he shot her. And nobody knows how the detectives found out that he was living in these famous apartments. But according to the land landlady, she says she gets hundreds of phone calls a day wanting to move into these apartments where the Beatles are painted on the side. And that's what they tell her. And if you've lived there, your, uh, pretty much your rent has been controlled. You'd be uh, paying about three, four hundred. The uh, the people that have lived there for 20 years, but now the rents are pretty high. You're probably looking at eighteen hundred dollars. Okay, well, I just wanted to get this and document this for our little virtual tour. Okay, okay, follow me and let's continue. All right, thank you very much.